Hey guys, it's Chelsea, your midday girl. I'm gonna be doing all this week a bunch of dollar store hacks for you for Halloween. Now this is going to be some costumes, this is gonna be some decorations, a little bit of everything, and I got everything you see at the dollar store or I already had it in my house. So it's gonna be really quick, easy, and awesome things you could do for Halloween. To be or not to be. It's kind of cool, cool. Anyway, please like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and let's get started. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a really cool skeleton cutout t-shirt. I totally stole this shirt off of my brother, like literally off his back. I also just have some scissors and some chalk as well. I'm gonna find the middle of the shirt here to make our fold. I'm gonna fold just the top panel or the front panel of the shirt because it'll make it easier if I have that folded in half and cut both halves while I'm doing this instead of having to go back and do either side. For the spine, it's just one long line along that fold with two rounded ends. Um, again, do it right on the fold. That way when you cut it, it'll be a perfect or a complete long, ovally, roundish, weird shape rather than cutting both sides by themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ribs. Again, this will be exactly mirrored on the other side of the shirt since we folded it. They are just long, elongated shapes with a slight bend to them. I'm not really measuring out, making sure they're even between the two. And I'm also not making them perfectly round on the edges. They're kind of like, if you notice, a bit flat with some rounded edges, but not a perfectly round edge. And as I work my way up, the ribs get a bit shorter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut along my chalk lines here. Again, making sure I'm cutting both sides of the shirt, both parts of the fold. That way I don't have to go back and have to kind of figure out and retrace and do the exact same thing on the other side. This just makes it easier for me uh, doing both sides at once of the front of the shirt. Little bit of a cheat here is I pinch it a little bit and then I do a little bit of a snip when I cut inside of it because I'm trying to cut a circle out of you know the shape. You do the little snip and then you could put your scissors in that little snip that you did and then use that to work around and cut just the inside of your chalk lines. And I went ahead and did that for the other ones right away. Here you go, there's the shirt. It's a little big on me because it's my brother's shirt, but it's okay, so your ribs and your spine won't look so uh, elongated or wide, but there's my ribs, and I got my spine down the middle. Again, it'll fit better. But don't forget to subscribe to Cat Country. Hit the notification bell because we're gonna post more videos all this week of some Halloween hacks. Clearly, I should have been a model. 